Welcome back to our conversation about taxes and the state of the economy with Eileen McEnany of the Mass Taxpayers Foundation. So, uh, Governor Baker's new budget, Eileen, included a number of tax hikes, including accelerated sales tax payments to help pay for school funding, higher deeds excise taxes to help communities deal with climate change, among others. Uh, Mass Taxpayers Foundation is traditionally skeptical of new taxes. Same here. Well, so I, I would say we're not anti-tax, which is an important distinction, but we do want to make sure that your tax dollars are spent appropriately and efficiently. And, and I have to say I was surprised by the size of the tax increases. In total, it's about $600 million in new revenue that's proposed in the governor's budget. What do you make of it? Well, so some of it is... Um, you know, it, it makes sense in the sense for e-vaping, for instance, or e-cigarettes, they're going to be subject to the same tax regime as tobacco. You know, hard to argue with some of that. Um, but there is a big focus on sales tax and trying to get that money in to the state coffers sooner. And, and so it's about accelerating sales tax payments. And they've been trying to do that for a really long time. So this is another run at it. Um, are you concerned we'll about the economic impact of a tax like that? Well, yeah, and, and I think that, that is a timing issue more than anything. Right. But I do think we have to think about these are $600 million in new taxes that come on the heels of tax increases last year as well. There's a new paid family and medical leave um, act that will require a payroll tax. There was the Airbnb tax increase that goes into effect this year. So there's a lot of new tax increases that are coming on board. Last time you were here, I believe, if I recall correctly, we spent a lot of time talking about the uh, so-called millionaire's tax, which was a proposal headed for last year's ballot that would have uh, jacked up the income tax on high earners in the Commonwealth. It was dropped as part of the so-called grand bargain that was cut between business groups and labor and uh, uh, with Governor Baker um, uh, supervising there. But already, the same coalition that was backing the millionaire's tax is talking about bringing it back. Uh, you, I, we know that you're an opponent of this. Uh, put it in the context of it would be, you know, three and a, more than three years from now, right? Okay. Uh, but uh, uh, do you continue to have a problem with this? How does it fit into the context of volatility with capital gains? We, we do continue to have a problem with it. And the reality is that a lot of the money that would be coming in from that income surtax is derived from capital gains and dividends and all the things that are cyclical and, and tied to the stock market. And so they're not a great revenue source to build a budget on. And we're concerned about that and that we may be double counting it because a lot of that money is right now targeted to go into the stabilization fund, which is the state's savings account. And, and so, you know, it, it's either got to be for the state fund or for education and transportation. So we're worried um, that it's not a good source for either of those spending I items. I got to wrap it up, but one last quick one. Sure. Did the state over rely on tax revenue from recreational marijuana? Well, they didn't. And in fact, um, they're not really counting it in, in the revenue growth. I, I think they do have about 130 some odd million coming in, but they recognize it's been a slow ramp up and that that money is uncertain. Oh, but it's not baked into the current well, budget. Well, there is, there, is there is an amount in the budget. Yeah, 133 million. So time will tell whether or not we realize that. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Yeah. Next time you're here, I'm going to want to follow right, well, up we'll on that. We'll be able to see. All right, thanks, thanks, Eileen. Take care. Great to see you. If you want to hear more of our conversation about taxes and the economy, check out the next edition of Studio BZ, our weekly podcast. It drops every Wednesday on cbsboston.com and other places where you download your podcasts. That's it for me. Now back to my colleagues for more WBZ News.